What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, reliable AMT, make sure to hit up my sponsor and use code BUGS for 5% off checkout. Links down below in the description, hit them up right now. What's good YouTube, it's your boy BUGS back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video and guys today, we're going to go over the jump shot meter. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K21 My Team video. And guys, today, we are going to rank the best game modes in NBA 2K21 My Team. So, before we get into this video, smash that like button. Let's hit 100 likes on this video for some MT giveaways on Twitter. I also buy and sell MT, so if you guys want to sell MT, buy MT, make sure to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter. And yeah, guys, we're going to go over the best possible the best possible game mode you could play right now to make MT in NBA 2K21, my team. So please, new subs, likes, greatly, greatly appreciated, man. So without further ado, let's get into the game modes. Which ones I think are the worth grinding, which ones I think. So we're pretty much going to go over all of them, and then we're going to rank them as we go on. So first off, we're going to start off with TTO Online, all right? So now, looking at these rewards, okay? First off, in my opinion, TTO Online is AIDS, okay? Um, TTO Online contains a bunch of people spamming free agent cards. If you guys don't know what free agent cards, it's literally people who have 96 overall cards for free. They get them out of packs and they're used for like five games. Those are free agent cards. Now, if you run in a TTO game, pretty much, since shooting is somewhat broken, not too much anymore, people usually camp in the paint. So, the new thing is on TTO Online is people run three center squads that can't shoot, Okay. That's the thing. So people are running three centers down below and they're just spamming. They're literally, they're literally sitting in the paint and just spamming. So if you want to play TTO, man, here's the downfall of TTO. Since everybody's using three centers or big, big ass players, here's the thing. So you need a three point shooter that you know you have your jump shot with. So if you're not good at shooting in NBA 2K21, this isn't the game mode for you. It's very skill based this year. People most likely will just camp in the paint. So you really can't use your centers. They will most likely do off ball and camp one in the paint. So how do I feel about this game mode? Yes, it's very rewarding. It's just the online games are too long when you can play single TTO. It's a lot easier. So online TTO is a little iffy right now considering it is the beginning of the game. If you do not have a good team, TTO is definitely not the game mode for you. Online TTO that is. So that's number one. Number two, we're going to talk about my team unlimited, okay? <sighs> this, I'm two and one. My first game came on the release date when I came early and I lost with like a really bad team, but whatever. I should be undefeated. Game was super laggy, but here it is, unlimited. Now, you have to win like 68 games for Paul Pierce. Is it worth it? Well, 68 games, okay? You're talking about 68 struggled, unlong, unlimited games, sweaty nerds all, all over this unlimited game. So now... Is Unlimited worth grinding for for Pink Diamond Paul Pierce? Well, here's the thing. We got 68 games. Now, I would not touch Unlimited until you finish this right here. Okay. This is the best route to go for first. This is my... This... Okay. Realistically, though, this is one of the most boring... Like, honestly, once you get up to all-time domination, hard games you will ever play ever. So, current is easy. So, if you have trouble with domination... Here's the thing. All you guys have to do is go follow, go look at my uh, YouTube video. It's a couple days ago. Um, it's the best playbook right now in NBA 2K21. My team, you run the Pistons playbook. This is going to be easy. It's on Hall of Fame difficulty. It's just their shots are bad. So you want to sit in a 2-3 zone the whole entire game against regular domination. Now, once you do regular domination, here's what I say. I say you do 33 stars here. Then you do 33 stars historic. And then you try to get the full stars for George Mikan. Because realistically, if you get to all time, you get so many tokens. As you guys can see, my level's at 22. My token count's high. You want to see where I am in tokens wise? I'm in the Amethyst stage already, guys. I got my first Amethyst player. So here's the thing. Here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to grind domination first. In my opinion, that is the first game mode you should possibly do. Yes, it's very hard. When you get to all time domination, it's by far the hardest CPU I've ever played in NBA 2K20 or NBA 2K ever. So domination is definitely a must start if you have problems with all-time domination to be honest i had a lot of problems with this too if you don't have a good team you don't have the best team this isn't the time for you but when you get to all-time domination you get 2000 mt per game and every five games you get about 
40 tokens, maybe more. So you're gonna get about 40 tokens per five teams. So a 15 plus eight, which is 23 plus seven. So you're gonna get 30 tokens. You also get three per game. So three times five, 30 plus 15, 45 tokens per five, okay? They also had an event the other day. Every win you get, you get an extra token. So every five games, you're gonna get 50 tokens. Now, early in the game, first off, you're working on your MT. Not only that, if you know how to work the auction and whatnot, you can literally work the auction for two minutes. Try to get one snipe, throw them up, try to make at least a thousand MT, get back into a domination game. This is the best way, first off, to get your team way better and not spend your MT. That's what I did. I'm gonna show you my team right now. So first off, this is pretty much a no money spent squad. We got Giannis, Chris Middleton. This right here is about 60K. All these cards are free. Bill Walton's 3K, Gus is 10K. Every other card on here is pretty much free. Ben Simmons is 3K. This team right here is worth about 90,000 MT. At this stage in the game, if you've been playing since day one, 90,000 MT is nothing, especially if you're up to the stage of my, at where I am in domination, especially if you got the Mamba edition and all that VC. So all this, this team is pretty much free right here, man. I have a ton of other free cards in my collection from the rewards and this is the stage you guys should be at right now so domination is definitely first second man we got tto offline now you have a chance of getting a 92 brian winters in the vault we have insane rewards you get about 500 mt a game so let's say you play 10 hours a day you do 100 games of tto offline first off there's challenges that also make you your level go up so now tto offline okay this one's insane. Amethyst Isaiah Ryder, completely usable. Then we get Diamond Stefan Mare at 200, and at 300 we get Diamond JaVale McGee. All these cards are very good. This is a 30-hour grind. It's not It's not even that bad. It's actually kind of fun. Not only when you get to 300 wins, they're going to release the next reward soon to like 500 wins or whatever. The next season, there's probably going to be a bigger uh, reward system. So definitely try this out i'm most likely gonna grind some of this soon i'm probably gonna do five games a day once i do finish all-time domination this is definitely a great way to get your tokens up your mt up at the same time quick easy games you also could do a ton of these right here there's season one challenges they're gonna be a lot easier in uh tto offline there is a lot of them so definitely do that is a great way to get your player your xp up up and then you have a chance of getting bob lanier i didn't get bob lanier yet but then we have limited as well. So we did TTO, Domination, and TTO Online. So now last but not least, we got limited. Dude, this is a weekend league. I didn't get my ring. I didn't even know it was weekend league until someone said to me, I'm stupid as heck, but this is definitely a very good, very, very, very good. So now let's say you play 20 games, you don't get a ring. It's kind of tough, but there are people that are winning two games, even one game and getting the ring. It's all luck, but in the end, if you could play like let's say 20 games in realistically 20 games with rage quits and everything it's gonna take you about 30 minutes per game with rage quits and stuff it could be a lot easier so 30 minutes a game that's about 10 hours of your time every single week to get yourself ralph sampson i think it's completely worth it so now overall man we're gonna rate these in order okay from uh from worst to best here's what i think so we got we got domination so now do i think domination is the best do i think it's the worst we're gonna go over the worst one first in my opinion i think the worst game mode right now is unlimited it's not even close in my opinion okay i'm gonna say unlimited is the worst because you have to win 68 games to get paul pierce okay these games are tough especially if you're not a good team unlimited most likely isn't the way for you especially with kids using free agent cards online it's complete it's just not fun okay if you saw my pack and play video kids are using free agent cards and it just wasn't fun it whatsoever so right now, man, I don't know. It's completely up to you. Unlimited is very, very tough. It's very, very, very tough, especially with these nerds using free agent cards. So unlimited is probably the worst one. Next up, every online game mode, guys. TT Online is the next, the next worst, okay? If you guys aren't good at the game, if, especially if you're new, it's a lot harder to adjust to this game. First off, um, tier one is trash, okay? You're going to get like, that's just not good enough, okay? Tier 2 is alright. You have a chance of getting a standard pack and 3 tokens. That's, that's fine. And then Tier 3. Tier 3 is going to be hard, especially if you're new to the game. Um, it's a Tier 3 is pretty solid, man. Deluxe League Pack, Terrell, Brandon, tokens. You know what I'm saying? So it's completely up to you. All I'm saying, I say it's the worst because these games take long. This is a waste of your time, in my opinion, when you could be grinding TT offline, when you're going to get better awards down the road. So this is definitely the, the, the second to last worst, in my opinion. Next, man. We got... This one's tough. This one's tough right here. 
I'm gonna say we got we also have challenges, which is a very good. So if you guys don't know what these are, these are very good. Uh, next up, we got TTO of line, we got domination, and we got limited. To be honest, domination is gonna go third. You just have to get this out of the way. It's not fun whatsoever. I'm just saying the struggle is it's just it's, when you get to all time, you'll know what I'm saying. The struggle is very tough. It's very very boring. So I'm gonna put this third. I would say this is the third to last worst one. I would say second man T2 offline. Very rewarding. The rewards get better as the seasons go on. So yeah, I would definitely do TTO. And then honestly, the best one, nah, TTO, TTO offline is probably the best. My team limited and TTO offline are tied. Just because my team limited, in my opinion, is fun. It's different. You get like, you have to like have a certain team that matches the requirements. So I find this game mode fun. And in the end, you're going to get yourself a pink diamond Ralph Sampson, who's very tall. So in my opinion, overall right now. TT offline and limit are the best ones. Domination, you just have to do. You just have to get out of the way. You want to get your tokens higher. You want to get a free pink diamond. Domination's going to be the way. I only ranked it lower because of the terrible, terrible all-time domination. It's super hard, especially at the beginning of the game. The CPUs are very sweaty. And then we got challenges, man. I'm putting this up high, too, because realistically, you get a ton of free packs. These are only five challenges on, what's it called? Spotlight challenges. Five challenges, guys. This is easy money right here. Uh, these are easy. You get a sick pack. You get Wall Frazier, Sapphire. And then in the end, you get Bill Russell Diamond. So, I don't know. That's how I rank them. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to let me know what you guys are grinding out down below. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one. Peace.